From the NMSU Department of Journalism and Media Studies in collaboration with KRWG, this is the student-produced News 22, where news matters. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diego Gallegos. And I'm Heba Hamedi. New Mexico firefighters are battling the Blue Front fires around Rio Doso. The fires have not grown since yesterday. However, the work tempo for responding crews will not change. Windy conditions and steep, unsafe terrain create significant challenges for crews on the ground responding to the fire. In areas where it is not safe for crews to hike in, aviation support will be used as conditions allow. Crews are also working to continue securing the north side of the fire, which shows little potential for spread. Well, Diego, it was really cold today. That's right. It seems like the perfect time to start pulling out those hoodies. Maya, what can you tell us about what happened today? Thank you guys. Yes, it's finally getting cold in Las Cruces as we always wanted. And today we had clear skies with a temperature of 61 degrees and winds of 7 miles per hour, humidity 15% and a dew point of, of, excuse me, of 12 degrees and a barometer of 30.06 our high, we have 69 degrees, average, averaging 73 degrees, a low of 37 degrees, and our record temperatures of a high of 88 in 1994 and low of 26 degrees in 1980. Our, our, sorry, our precipitation of this year is zero today, and the yearly is 3.98. Back to you, Eva. Stay tuned because Maya Rivera will be back with your national forecast. But first, some local women are combating cancer with love and support. More on that when News 22 continues. Across the waves of grain and the fruited plains. The food traditions that shaped this nation. This really is a labor of love. Are being preserved. Such an important story in one bowl. And rediscovered on America the Bountiful. Monday at 2 p.m. on KRWG Public Media. Warming hearts with pie, oh, right? Cheers yeah. to that. <laughs> Hop and then we run, run, run together. Okay, it's not too bad. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. All that and more on Finey Festivals. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Sunday at 10 p.m. on KRWG Public Media. Welcome back. You're watching News 22 Wednesday. Where news matters. Early October marked the second annual Cancer Warriors Week, a week of fundraising events to raise money for women with breast, ovarian, and uterine cancer. That's right, Diego. It's organized by Cancer Warriors of Las Cruces, a group of six women who use their journeys with cancer to make sure others facing the same diagnosis don't feel alone. Leah De La Torre has more. Mercy Dickerson was diagnosed with breast cancer two years ago. Since then, it's been her goal to solve key issues with experiencing cancer treatment. So our first year out, we raised $220,000. This year with Cancer Warriors Week, which we are wrapping up with the 5K, we have raised just over $205,000. That money was raised by bringing the community out to dance, enjoy music, and dress up for a live auction. It ended off one early Saturday by crossing the finish line in a 5K. I want to be there to support others that are going through the same thing and you know, support those that are fighting and those that have passed and also to show that, you know, I am a survivor and that, you know, anyone can, you know, hopefully fight through it and, you know, just provide my support for everybody. Cancer Warriors also provides warrior boxes, which medical providers can hand out, and they come equipped with goodies like gift cards and self-care items to help women along all stages of their cancer journey. Along with these warrior boxes, Cancer Warriors, in collaboration with Memorial Medical Center, launched Mammos to Answers, a program that speeds up the process of diagnosis to just 21 days. In Doniana County, it usually takes three and a half to four months to be diagnosed with breast cancer. That is months of agony. That's months of waiting. And I decided that that was unacceptable. Marcy has been cancer-free as of April last year, but her journey as an advocate will not stop anytime soon. 
Cancer Warriors continues to bring Las Cruces a little bit more hope. Leo de la Torre, News 22. And Maya is next with the national weather forecast. Thanks, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at our national weather map. So for our today's forecast in our bigger cities in the, around the U.S., we, feel, we see the cold in the northwest as we go down into the so south and east. We definitely still see our summer temperatures here with us, especially in Florida and New Orleans and Texas. We still are hitting our 80s and 70s till we go up into the northwest, averaging 40s and 50s as we go on to our next map. We see here estimated snow coverage, and we only see half snow in the northwest and bigger coverage of snow in Wyoming and in the west side of Colorado. We should get more snow as we go into November, especially go in, going into the east, but we wouldn't get snow until we go into December. I'll be back with your local weather forecast. I'm Eric Johnson, host of Garden Smart. Each week we travel the country north to south, east to west, exploring some of the most exciting gardens, as well as talking to industry horticulturalists about design principles, new plants, and also how you can be more successful with your home garden. Saturday at 2.30 p.m. on KRWG Public Media. How did dreams really come true? All of a sudden, like a bolt of lightning, I had an epiphany. Innovators and visionaries sit down with Kate Sullivan. You have to test your instinct and you have to fail. To share their stories at their favorite restaurant. Trying to make something better. Enthusiasm. With people that I love. Savor great food and revealing conversations. I want my life to be my best work of art. To dine for with Kate Sullivan. Saturday at 8 p.m. on KRWG Public Media. We'll go back to News 22. Now let's take a look at our New Mexico's weather right now. In Farmington, we have 42, Santa Fe 40, Gallup 40, Albuquerque 52, Socorro 56, Clovis 55, Rio Doso 47, Roswell 65, and Las Cruces 61, with Deming being 58. Now with Halloween coming tomorrow, we still have the cold temperatures to make sure have your little ones wear their jackets as they go trick-or-treating because Farmington is at 57, a high, 56 in Santa Fe being your high, Albuquerque 61, 66 in Socorro, Clovis 66, Redoso 61, Roswell 69, 74 in Las Cruces and Deming 71. In Alamogordo tomorrow we have 30, tonight at 35, with clear skies and tomorrow 70 being your high with clear skies once again. Truth or consequences, 37 being your low tonight with clear skies and 71 being your high with clear skies tomorrow. Silver City, we have 33 being your clear skies, being our low tonight and tomorrow are 69 with our high of clear skies. For Las Cruces tonight, we have 37 with our lowest with clear skies and tomorrow 74 with our highest. That's all I have for you for now. Back to you, Eva. Diego, I heard that game last night was brutal with the Aggies. Yeah, I watched it. Not the best performance for the Aggies. Ben, what happened last night? Not the best performance was probably an understatement. Coming up on News 22, New Mexico State faced a major loss against FIU, and we're going to recap it. More on that when News 22 continues. I'm so excited about the upcoming season of Healthy Minds. We are covering a variety of issues, all of which are important, including youth mental health, developing new treatments that can help with prevention, as well as treat people who have an illness, 
We're gonna look at the issue of homelessness. We are covering so much that's so important to people today. Sunday at 2.30 p.m. on KRWG Public Media. Tokyo is a true gourmet wonderland. Markets are replete with the freshest produce, seafood, and ingredients, all sourced for the most discerning chef and palate. Discover the stories behind the culinary specialties that make this city so delicious. Watch Trails to Oishi Tokyo on NHK World Japan. Thursday at 2 p.m. on KRWG Public Media. This is KRWG TV News 22 Sports. For the win! He got it! Welcome back. I'm Ben Schlittler, and let's talk some sports. Midweek USA football action just wrapped up, and the Aggies didn't end it with a bang because they got clobbered against FIU on the road. NMSU's offense looked like it needed a defibrillator and maybe even an exorcist to wake them up last night. NMSU's quarterbacks could not complete a pass to save their lives. They only threw for 30 yards total on the day. FIU quarterback Keon Jenkins torched the Aggie defense for 300 yards and four touchdowns in a 34-13 bludgeoning of the Aggies. The soccer team season is wrapping up on on Halloween with the renewal of the Battle of I-10 with NMSU versus UTEP. The Aggies are on a hot streak with three wins in a row to go alongside Loma McNeese breaking the NMSU all-time goal record, and they sit in third place in the CUSA and have high hopes of making their second NCAA tournament in three years. The game kicks off at 6 p.m. at the NMSU Soccer Complex, so if you don't have plans, you can start off your Halloween with the Aggies. Well, the high school football season in Las Cruces has wrapped up, and as we look back on the season, it's the same old, same old, with Centennial on top and Oregon Mountain on the bottom. Oregon Mountain was actually on pace for their best season in years and had a shot at their first non-losing season since the Bush administration, and all they had to do was beat Hobbs. However, the Knights got mercy ruled against Hobbs 56-6 to finish 4-6. At least they got basketball. Meanwhile, Centennial has a date with destiny this Saturday as the number two team in the state with a dominant defense headlined by NMSU commit Zayden Davis could clinch an undefeated season against Las Cruces High School, who right now is just looking to secure an at-large bid. That's all for sports tonight. Join us tomorrow for more sports action. Still ahead on News 22, Maya will be back to take a look at your five-day forecast. I'm Paul. I'm Chris. And, and we're, we're the Viewfinders. Sunday at 11 p.m. on KRWG Public if your watercolor came to an auction, it would probably sell for between $1,000 and $1,500. Whoa. Yeah, not bad for two bucks. Now that's money well spent. Your investment in this PBS station brings Antiques Roadshow into your home each week. Call, text, or go online to give now. I think I'm gonna be rich. Now let's take a look at our top stories. New Mexico firefighters are battling the Blue Front fires around Rio Doso. Misinformation, mistakes, and in some cases, flat-out malice have been the top issue for many states in the final days of the election season. And early October marked the second annual Cancer Warriors Week, a week of fundraising events to raise money for women with breast, ovarian, uterine, and uterine cancer. Now, guys, it's been really chilly, but tomorrow is Halloween. That's right. Are you guys dressing up? You know, got to channel my inner Phineas and Ferb. We're going as Baljeet this year. Can't lie. Maya, what about you? I'm dressing up as a little deer, but make sure to wear those jackets, guys, because our five-day our five day weather forecast. Tomorrow, will be the high will be 74 with sunny skies, but our low will be 44. On Friday, we'll have sunny skies again with a high of 80, of 78 and 47 being our lowest. On Saturday, once again, clear skies with 79 being your highest and 40 nine being your lowest. On Sunday, we finally have mostly clear skies with 70 being your high and 42 being your lowest. And on Monday, we'll have a little bit more of a freeze with 64 being your high and 34 being your lowest. 
Thanks, Maya. And that's all for News 22 Wednesday. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here tonight. Tune in tomorrow night for more news. I'm Diego Gallegos. And I'm Heba Hamedi. And from the whole News 22 team, Diego, Maya, Ben, and myself, have a great night. This news brief in Espanol is brought to you by Noticias 22, la información más completa de Nuevo México, El Paso y la Frontera. Noticias 22. Buenas tardes, yo soy Jade Matarnelas con las breves de hoy en Noticias 22. Por todos los Estados Unidos han ocurrido casos de desinformación, errores y atentados durante la temporada de votaciones. Algunos de estos casos incluyen ataques, incendios, a algunas cajas de votación y buzones postales en al menos tres estados. Investigaciones están en curso y sospechosos aún en libertad. Además, dos funcionarios electorales de estados claves afirman que a pesar de la preocupación de la prensa, confían en que el recuento de votos será seguro y exacto. Se les recuerdo a los televidentes de Nuevo México que votas anticipadas acabarán este viernes y las votaciones oficiales es el 5 de noviembre. Los senderos de South Fork y Blue Front ya se han considerado como zonas para la contención del incendio forestal de Ruidoso. Oficiales declararon que se usaron más de 600 galones de agua a la vez, equipos de extracción de emergencia y helicópteros para tratar de apagar el fuego forestal. Los equipos también están trabajando para asegurar el lado norte del incendio que muestra poco potencial de propagación. Aunque el fuego en estas áreas no ha tenido ningún crecimiento, el ritmo de trabajo para los equipos de respuesta no va a cambiar. Se le informa a los residentes del Lago Bonito deben de estar preparados para una posible evacuación. Esto fue todo por mi lado hoy. Que no se les olviden seguirnos en las redes sociales en Instagram, Facebook y YouTube. Que tengan una linda noche.